Today's gospel gives us a perfect view of Jesus as one who at times upsets the apple cart. In fact, today he just turns it over completely. In the gospel, Jesus was confronted by the Pharisees and the scribes about how he and his disciples did not follow the purification laws, the washing of the hands and so forth. In responding to this, Jesus quoted Isaiah. The people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Jesus followed many traditions and laws, but at times he chose not to. Jesus always tried to teach us that what is most important is the transformation, the conversion of the heart. He wanted the heart that was free from judging others because judging puts up a barrier, it builds a wall instead of building bridges. About six years ago, I was in our parish in Good Shepherd in northern Manhattan with the Paulists. And after Mass, someone came up to me and said, Father, I was watching you during Mass. And I don't think you made the correct sign of the cross at this particular place in the script in the liturgy. You can't do that. All right. Thank you for sharing, huh? <laughs> but he didn't mention anything about the fact that, you know, I had been working with the poor in the Dominican Republic. Didn't say anything about he wanted to come with me. I just got back last month from my 36th mission there. We built uh, our com uh, repaired six homes, putting new roofs on and new walls. We installed 30 water filters so that people will not get parasites and dysentery. 48 from the country, six from this country. I'm convinced that it's the judging heart that is led by the letter of the law. St. Paul said, the letter of the law kills the spirit of the law gives what? Gives life. Gives life. Many of us have been focusing on the death of the senior senator of Massachusetts this past weekend. And some have been very quick to judge this man. Just yesterday someone said, I gave up completely on him after Chabba quit it. You know? I'm not here to judge him. I'm not here to praise him or condemn him. I'm here to re recognize that this can be an example for us of what Jesus says not to do, to judge the person. We can observe, and we need to observe. We can evaluate behavior and political positions. There are many of him, of which he did, that I liked, and many of which I did not like in any way. But we're not here to judge the person. He would have been the first to say, as his family member said, that he was a flawed person. He was like us, a mixed bag, huh? Both sinner and saint at the same time. A human being. The gospel calls us not to be so quick to judge as the Pharisees were judging Jesus and his disciples. I like the story of the man who was made a captain of a destroyer, his first commission. So he set out that night and everything was going smoothly and everything was calm. And all of a sudden he saw a light on the starboard side. 
And he said to the radio man, radio that ship and tell them to turn their deg ship 20 degrees to the north. He did. A message came back. It said, you turn your ship 20 degrees to the south. Well, he wasn't too happy about this, you know. So he sent another message. Tell him, I order you to turn your ship 20 degrees to the north. I am Captain Sean Cunningham. Message comes back. I order you to change your direction 20 degrees to the south. I am Seaman Third Class Timothy, Timothy Ryan. Well, he was apoplectic at that point, right? So he sends, says, send one final message. Tell them to change their direction. I am a destroyer. The message comes back a few minutes later. You change your direction. I am a lighthouse. <laughs> 